Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, I'll ask us to find the values of x that satisfy the given logarithmic equation. And to solve this equation, we are going to start by applying the power rule of logarithms. Now, the power rule is the rule that says that log a to power b is equal to b times log a. That is when we have a log term. We can bring down the exponent of a to the front of the log term to become a multiplier. Now, in this case, you can see that when we apply the power rule, we can bring down log to base 3 of x to the front of this equation. That is, we have log to base 3 of x multiplied by log to base x of log to base 4 of x divided by log to base 4 of x minus 3. And this is equal to 2. Now, here you can see that we have x. And in the base of this log term, we also have x. Now, remember that when we have log to base a of b multiplied by log to base b of c, that this is simply equal to log to base a of c. In a way, this cancels this. And why is that so? Now, let us change the base of this second log term from base b to base a to match this one. When we do that, you can see that we have log to base a of b, that is this, multiplied by, applying the change of base formula to this, we have log to base a of c, divided by log to base a of the old base, which is b. Now, we have log to base a of b and log to base a of b. Of course, this is going to take care of that, leaving us with this being equal to log to base a of c, which is exactly this. So, in essence, when we apply this rule to this equation, what we have is log to base 3 of this, that is log to base 4 of x divided by log to base 4 of x minus 3. And this is equal to 2. Now, at this point, let us remember that when we have a statement like log to base a of b is equal to c, this simply means that a raised to power c is equal to b. That is, b is equal to a raised to power c. So, in this case, we have that this is equal to 3 raised to power 2. That is, log to base 4 of x divided by log to base 4 of x minus 3 is equal to 3 raised to power 2. And of course, 3 squared is equal to 9. Now we have log to base 4 of x divided by log to base 4 of x minus 3. So let log to base 4 of x be equal to d. With this substitution, this equation becomes d divided by d minus 3 is equal to 9. Of course, we can cross multiply. And when we do that, we have that 9 times this, that is 9d minus 9 times 3, which is 27, is equal to d times 1. Of course, we are arranging this. We have that 9d minus d is equal to 27. And of course, 9d minus d is 8d. And this is equal to 27. Dividing both sides of this equation by 8, we have that d is equal to 27 divided by 8. But let us not forget that d is log to base 4 of x. So we have that log to base 4 of x is equal to 27 over 8. Once more, we go back to this. We go back to this rule. So from here, we have that x is equal to 4 to the power 
27 over 8. So this is the value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation. Now you can leave your answer in this form or we can simplify this. Of course, you know that 27 over 8 is an improper fraction. We can write this as a mixed fraction. And when we do that, this becomes 4 to the power 3 plus 3 over 8. Because of course, when you divide 27 by 8, you have three whole numbers and then remainder 3. And when we apply our laws of indices to this, this is simply 4 raised to power 3 multiplied by 4 raised to power 3 over 8. But 4 is 2 squared. Meanwhile, 4 raised to power 3 is 64. So this is 64 times 2 squared to the power 3 over 8. Now, 2 can divide itself once and can divide 8 four times. So this is 64 multiplied by 2 to the power 3 over 4. You can also write this as 64 times the fourth root of 2 cubed. Of course, 2 cubed is 8. So this can also be written as 64 times the fourth root of 8.